Hi guys, hi guys. God bless you, God bless you. Um, I know I haven't been on. Um, been wicked busy. Uh, been praying a lot and doing my own spiritual stuff lately with the Lord. Um, um, doing a lot of my own study and a lot of, you know, um, things for the Lord. <laughs> um, but I am making time to do a psalm tonight. Um, I apologize uh, for the late video, but I am on, we are on uh, Psalm 95, and the title is An Invitation, I wrote it down, to praise God. An Invitation to Praise God, hallelujah. Okay, and it's only 11 verses, um, but let's get into this. Um, let's pray to the Lord and give thanks um, dear Heavenly Father I thank you for this word that we have tonight to read Father may you open up our minds um, to receive your word and to receive some edification tonight Father in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you Amen Amen. alright I'm going to read in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen and it says O come let us sing unto the Lord let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In the hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is, is also his. Is his also. The sea is his and he made it. And his hands form the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter unto into my rest. Amen, amen, amen. Let's give the Lord our praises, hallelujah, because he is a God that deserves our worship, our praises towards him, hallelujah. We must worship and praise the living God, hallelujah, the living God, hallelujah. Glory to God that formed everything, everything, hallelujah. He formed us from the dust, hallelujah, of the ground, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Let's come to his presence and always be thankful. Be always be thankful. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, um, it says, harden not your heart. Hallelujah. On the day of temptation in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. An outward show of worship is not enough. The people are to recall and take warning from the stories of their ancestors. Like, they have stories of, you know, their ancestors and worshiping. And, and um, it says, who had defiled God along the way from Egypt to the promised land? The account of what happened at Maribah, Quirrellin, and Massah Testin is found in Exodus uh, 17, 1 through 7. Those people had seen sign after sign that God was with them and leading them. Yet, they continued to complain and resist as a result an entire generation of people missed out on the peace and security that God had offered them. 
Amen. And I'm going to read Exodus 17, 1 through 7 for you tonight. And it says, hold on, 1 through 7. <clears throat> and it says, in all, the gener in all the congregation of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin. After their journeys, according to the commandment of the Lord, and pitched in Rephidim, and then, I mean, and there was no water for the people to drink. Wherefore the people did chide with Moses, and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? And the people thirst after for water, and the people murmured against Moses, and said, Wherefore is is this that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto the people, these people, this people? They be almost ready to stone me. It's, hallelujah. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people, and take with thee of the elders of Israel, that thy rod with, therewith thou, thou smartest the river, smartest the river, take it in thy hand, and go. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock of Horeb, and there shalt thou smite, smite the rock and there shall come water out of it that the people may drink and moses did so in the sight of the elders of israel and he called the name of the place massa in meribah because of the chidon of the children of israel and because they tempted the lord saying in the lord among us or not hallelujah in chidon means rebuke hallelujah Glory to God. Okay. So, chiding means full of rebuke. So, the people were full of rebuke. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They kept on giving him a hard time. And, and he said they were just so bad to him that he thought they were going to stone him. Hallelujah. For water. That's how much they kept on murmuring. They kept on complaining and complaining. They were never satisfied. The Lord took them, took them out of out of um, being slaves. Hallelujah! Out of slavery, He took them. Hallelujah! And He was taking them to the promise that He was taking them, but they were in the wilderness. Hallelujah! All they did was complain. Hallelujah! Complain and complain. Glory to God. They were never satisfied. Hallelujah. And then God told Moses to hit the rock so that they can have water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Lord did wonderful things for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People thirst for water, murmured against Moses. Um, Moses cried to the Lord about them ready to stone him. The Lord told him to go before the people with thine elders of Israel, with thy rod, and thou smotest the river like unto thy hand, and go, behold, I stand before thee there upon the rock of he Hereb. And thou smite the rock, and then thou shall have water out of it. See, all these things that the Lord showed them, God showed them. He, he gave them water from a rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With all these things that the Lord did for them, manna out of the sky. They, they always complained. They always had something to complain about. Doesn't it remind us of... Um, People nowadays were never satisfied. Um, people are never satisfied. They always want more, more, more. Hallelujah. But the Lord gives, and people are, are just not thankful, you know. And I want to read that to you guys. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, fixing my books. So the people are just never satisfied. Amen. 
the psalm ends on a a stark note yet it is an uh, inappropriate ending um if indeed the lord is the great king above all gods he is due both outward worship and praise that that wells up from a grateful heart hallelujah hard hearts and stubborn wills will not will have severe consequences hallelujah glory to god hallelujah the 40 years the people from egypt that he took out of egypt 40 years they spent in the wilderness 40 years Hallelujah! Because they 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 felt like you know complaining and they were never satisfied. They never stayed you know um, stayed um, focused on the Lord. They never they hardened their hearts. Hallelujah! They turned from God. No matter how many things He's done for them, He was showing them. He took them out of Egypt. He gave them water from a rock. He fed them from the sky. They were just never satisfied. Hallelujah! Never satisfied. Amen. But we have the opportunity to praise the Lord, hallelujah, to worship him, to give him the worship and praise that he deserves, hallelujah, glory to God, the God, hallelujah, the God of the hills, the, the God of the sea, the God of the world, the God of our generations and generations, it's only one God, hallelujah, and he is omnipresent, omniscience, omnipotent, uh, hallelujah, glory to God, we serve a wonderful God that deserves worship and praise, hallelujah, thank you Lord Jesus, he's the only one that's going to be there for you, he's the only one that can break chains and release you from things that you need to be released from, he's the only God, hallelujah, that is, is that will forgive you and have mercy and love you because he is the only God. Hallelujah. One God. Ask a stone God to do something for you and see where you get. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, guys. That's um, that's I'm going to end it with that. Um <clears throat> But it says, come and let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Hallelujah. The Lord is the rock of our salvation. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He, he, is, he is the way to heaven. He is the way. Hallelujah. Glory to God, to salvation. He died for us. He died for us. He died for all of us. So that we can have a chance. So that we can repent and turn from our ways that are not godly, that are not righteous. We will never be perfect. But for our sins... He died for our sins, sins that we deserve, hallelujah. Um, the penalty, we deserve the penalty of our sins, that's what I meant. We deserve the penalty that Jesus took, hallelujah. He paid the price. He paid the price for every sin that we commit. We must repent. We must have a repentive heart. If we plan on getting to the kingdom of God, we must repent and forgive. And repentance means change of mind, change the way of living to a new way of living, a godly way, a way of following the commandments, a holy way of walking. Amen. So we must seek Jesus Christ and all his righteousness. Hallelujah. And repent from our old ways. Because the only way to heaven is Jesus Christ. We must go through the Son to meet the Father. Amen. Amen. But the invitation to praise the Lord is beautiful. We must worship the Lord. The invitation to worship the Lord. 
we now have the opportunity to praise and worship the Lord and seek Him daily. Hallelujah. To get that salvation. Don't let the enemy steal it. Don't let the enemy fool you. Don't let the enemy lie to you. Amen. Alright guys, that's what I got for you. Sorry, I kept on talking. But God bless you. It was a pleasure. Um, let's end it in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word that was read tonight. I thank you for for um, for for this wonderful word. I pray that it edified every single person that is watching today. I pray that everyone learns something. And I thank you for your word, Father, and for every day being so merciful and loving to us and and being so just. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Glory to God. May the Lord bless you today, tomorrow, and forever. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button and share the gospel. Um, may the Lord be with you today, tomorrow, and forever. Until next time, guys. God bless you. Bye.